My name's Dale, and I'm a stock car racer. Dale here. We've got problems. See, when we test drove this vehicle, definitely not on public roads. It was on a closed course by a trained professional, this guy. We noticed that the rear end of the car was doing this. And that's not good. You don't want the rear end of the car doing this. It'd be all right if it did it one way, like this away, because that would help me turn left. But the way it's doing it now, it kind of just helps me drive in the ditch. And uh, we don't want to do that. Anyway, I was thinking that maybe we had a controller arm motion. Bad, but we don't. They're in there, and that's all you need, really, at past tech. But we noticed we might have an issue here, a slight problem. I'm not sure. Probably need to call in an expert. <laughs> Wait a minute. I am an expert. I'm a stock car racer. So anyway, you can see here that that's perfectly fine. This is supposed to do this just like that. See, it's supposed to have a little give. So when you're swinging into that left turn, your wheelbase, your track, automatically adjusts into the turn the hell are you looking at? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. You, I've been meaning to talk to you about something that I found. What the hell is this? God damn it. What is this? Why is this in my shop? Uh... You know my rule on these things we don't use these these are nothing but a tool of the corporate corporatocracy to control your mind it, it's a smoke screen it's a mind control device you fool god dang fire extinguisher more like devil worshiper what are you doing no Oh, hell, you about set it off, and we all... That'd be like the atom bomb, Hiroshima. Oh, hell. Get that out of my car. You're gonna get, leave its bad luck voodoo. God damn, you knocked it off. I'm trying to run a business here. We here at Dale Racing Enterprises take our job very seriously. And, uh, yeah. When we got customers that come from miles around for this stuff, uh, I'm working on installing safety harnesses here these are genuine vintage five-point harnesses as we can see here all harnesses have got a certification tab on them this one was never punched so we can assume that it's brand new and is of the finest quality so we got these bad boys hooked up to these carabiners here, over here, and, well, that's fine, totally safe. And there's one right here, right under the crotchal region. That's an official term. Go ahead and take that, put that down in the notes, it's going to be on the test later. So we're putting the crotchal region 
belt on. And in order to do that, I gotta unwind this nut that is on this carabiner, which is totally legal. And they'll, they won't have any questions about that. That'll be fine. Thankfully, I've got my super comfortable passenger seat here to sit on, so it don't hurt my knees. The all these, they're just not doing so good these days, let me tell you. Sometimes they just, they just hurt, and hurt, and hurt. Must have been spending too much time on them, I guess. Anyway. Anyway, we're not making a lot of progress here, because on account of, well, the seat, well, I don't, Oh, well, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. That's, that's fine. We'll just ignore that. It's okay. And, uh, yep. I was reading the rules for the old race we're entering. It's NASCAR sanctioned. We got 200 laps we got to do, 3 8 mile track. Now, they were very specific. No purpose-built race cars, and no excessive gutting. And uh, I think we've met those requirements. I think we are well, well within their rules. And uh, that should be that should be fine. We also required that the fuel cell be enclosed and properly attached and. Yeah, we still got to throw a ratchet strap over it, but thankfully, we've got our antique trailer siding here. That is an SFI approved firewall there. That's going to keep you from blowing up. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, I'm still trying to get this nut off. Sometimes it's just real hard to get nuts off. Sometimes they're stuck. Sweaty. Right, yep. 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 Come on now. Now. Come on. Just, just, just do your thing. Come on, nuts. Come on, nuts. Do your thing. Do your thing, nuts. Gotta get the shaft down there, right on them nuts. Get the shaft down on them nuts, and that's going to help you bust them nuts. Use your leverage. Everything's fine. Alright, we're going to jack this thing up. we got to do a little front end work. Now, the most important thing to do when you're jacking a vehicle up and putting it in the air is, uh, no, don't look at it. It'll be okay. So we just start, yeah. Now you see there, professional jack placement. That comes from years How working the in the pit. Fuck? My name's Dale. Today we're going to be performing a little maintenance on the old stock car here. Now as you can see here, I have upper ball joints here. I purchased these off of the interweb. They are the finest chicken lao mein grade for, you know, manufactured by General So Industries. Now, they are only upper ball joints because the lower ones are too hard to do. So we're just going to do the uppers because they bolt in and that's easy and, and I don't value my life that much. You probably should, if you try this at home, do all of your ball joints, all right? Now, as you can see here, we've got all the tools a man needs. Beer, caffeine, 
folks. Ball joint separator purchased from Chicken Lao Main Tool Company. All any this is a one size fits all wrench here. This is it'll do anything you need. Large hammer. Also purchased from Chicken Lao Main Tool Company. And the semi-automatic wrench. So what we're gonna do here, stick this old jack under here, under the lower control bar. What we're gonna be doing is separating this upper ball joint here. Now you gotta make sure to support this lower control arm with something. Otherwise, when you knock that loose, this whole spindle is gonna come out and evaporate your face. So you can't do that. You also can't do this. Don't do this. This is not good. Use a spring compressor to hold the spring up and gently ease it on down. Don't be like Dale. You wanna point to the shits on here so people can yeah. see what you're doing. So this is the upper control arm. This is the upper ball joint. Basically, I'll have to cut some of this out. What we're gonna do here. There, show it again. This is the upper control arm. This is the upper ball joint. So what we're gonna do here, this is the spindle. We're gonna take our pickle fork and shove her in there, theoretically. And when we start beating on her with the hammer, she's gonna pop loose. And this is all one unit here. You pop this loose, this goes boom. That's bad. Like, like real bad, like it hurts real bad. Not that I know. Because professionals don't make mistakes. But anyhow, that's what we're gonna be doing. So we put the jack under here, we start lifting her up. And find a good spot to put it under, like this sheet metal backing plate that won't hold this. And uh, yeah, just put it right under there, bend, bend it to pieces, it's okay. It's all right, it'll come right back around. Now, you can see here, as I'm lifting this up, it's also lifting that upper ball joint and control arm. So that's going to do two things that's going to let us, for one, support this so it doesn't blow off and disintegrate my entire being. Another thing it'll let us do is get the pickle fork in behind it and actually separate the ball joint. Uh, so yeah, so this next part's probably going to be kind of long and boring. Uh, we got That's going to take a hell of a lot of pounding. A lot of pounding. I mean, I'm talking a vigorous, vigorous amount of pounding like a sweaty hours long through the night pounding and then by the time we're done with said pounding she's gonna pop out of there so the slip right out because she's had enough and uh then we're gonna be grinding and grinding and grinding these rivets and it's real boring so we'll probably just time lapse it another thing to show you guys i left the nut on the bottom of this ball joint here so whenever it shoots off I've got like a 10% better chance of it not exploding in my face. Probably not going to work, but what the heck. So let's go ahead and start pounding the hell out of her. As you can see, that's working really good. Oh, oh no. Appears my tool is not girthy enough for the task. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh-oh. Big dang fours. They're just so whirlered out. She's been well used. God dang it. It's like throwing hot dog down the hallway. Come on. Don't damage your body work while you're doing it. That costs a lot of money. Well, she's loose. Now the nut is seated up against that spindle. We just grab our uh, semi-automatic wrench. Stick her under here. Pull that nut off the rest of the way. And I hope I don't lose my fingers, but if I do, you'll probably like seeing it. And as you can see here, this is what we call, this is, this is what we call, 
long-winded son of a biscuit. This is what we call a castle nut because on account of looks like castle. They had it on there with the castle part upside down so it was extra ineffective. That's really nice. But anyhow, now that she's off there, this will just, this will just pop right up. This will, this, this will just, yeah. holy shit. Uh, holy crap, that's under a lot of tension. <laughs> oh God. Uh, see that's how you do that don't attempt that if you have a hard condition it uh it might make you skip a beat or two <laughs> it's a, oh my god My chicken lao main impact hammer seems to have had a malfunction. If this persists for more than eight hours, see your doctor immediately. There's times when your rivets might be stuck in your ball joints. And what you need sometimes to free your rivet out of the ball joint is a little bit of penetrating lubricant. A little bit of penetration it super penetrates. I mean, it just digs down in there. And this stuff is really good, even though it's no name, which is the only reason I bought it. They just soak them down, soak them, and when you think you've used enough, use more. Oh, well, oh well. They just soak it, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. She'll practically fall apart all on her own. Anyway, we'll keep working at it. Sometimes this takes a little time, and when it does, have yourself a beverage. It's working really good. It's great. They're they're coming right out, right out. So what we got here, our whole ball joint fiasco, well, I got the wrong ones. They're chicken fried rice, not chicken lao mein. And that just won't work. So what we're doing here now is uh, taking this random shifter that I found and uh, uh, and we're gonna make a shifter instead of the vice grips because the <laughs> yes that is my rod thank you this is a rod that is a rod please quit fondling quit beating me with the rod all right so we take this see this tap here this is a tap this has a hole in the rod there's a hole in the middle of the rod just like all rods and uh, so what we do here I don't have a T-handle for my tab uh, because I lost it in a gyrocopter accident. So we're just going to use vice grips because they're the same thing anyway. So you put this in here. This is drilled for size Q as in quail. Now you just stick her in there, stick it right in the rod and just, just feed it. Just 
feed it in there. Make sure it's crooked. Make sure it's crooked. You don't want this going in straight. Make sure it's crooked and awful. So you just tap this. Ugh. Just like that. Just tap it. <laughs> just a little harder. Just tap it. Oh, yeah, tap. Yeah. All right, so tap. when you tap, you put her in a little bit, just the tip, and then you back her back off. Make sure you're doing good. It's looking good. And you go ahead and put your tap back in. Now the reason you pull your tap back out is to let all the metal shavings and juices and whatnot, you know, come out of there. So now she's threading in there now. Oh, baby. <laughs> Just rip her and you go about a three-quarter turn. Back her back off. Slow now. Don't finish too quick. This is a time-consuming process. Back her back off. This is the, apparently some pretty, pretty hard, pretty hard rod. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> well, just put it in there. Keep going. Keep going, Dale. Keep going. Back it back off once you hear the breakage. Yep. 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 Back it back off. Let them shavings and the juices come back out. All the juices. You know what What actually might be kind of helpful? There, let me just reach into my tool cabinet here. Yep. Get a little lube to put on your tap. Quit blowing the rod. You put a little lube on your tap that you're inserting into the rod. Sorry, I squirted on you a little there. It's okay. I like it. Now. Jesus. Oh, well. Put her back in with the lube this time. We went in dry the first time and whew, it was kind of painful. So bring her back around. Keep feeding her, feeding her, feed her. Oh! Okay, I got it in my eyes. Just tighten it back up, get a better grip on it. Firmer grip, firmer, looser. Looser, gentle, gentle. This rod likes a man with an easy touch. Gosh! Now, just feed it. God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We, we got problems. It's stuck. Stuck. Somebody call a doctor. Somebody call a doctor. It's stuck in the hole. <laughs> we'll edit that part out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh. All right, anyway. Now just take this feller here. This is what we call a thing with a hole in it. They put that in. We're gonna thread it right in. It's just gonna go right in. It's just gonna go right in. It's just gonna go right in. Yep, it's just going right in. Oh yeah, it's just going right in. Yep. Yo, oh, see, it just went. Just, it just went right in. Yep, it's straight. It's not straight. You no, arguing with me, boy? Carl, who the hell do you think you are? Do you know who I am? I'm a damn. It's not straight. It's perfectly straight. Something's wrong with your eyes, boy. Maybe. Look at that thing. It's straight. Look. Boom. It's not. That's my grandpappy's rifle barrel. Right there. That's why it died. You shut your mouth. Bye-bye, you son of a bitch! Alright, so, uh, I'm under here. We're gonna be working on the old shifter linkage. Right there. Um, we need to replace our custom vice grip shifter. Not that it's not great, but, uh, it's not great. So, uh, anyway, you see here. 
turbo hydromatic division of gum. Don't know what that means. But anyway, I figured I'd show you some of the technical capabilities of this vehicle. See this here? That's custom rat ratchet strap that, well, that was holding something in. Um, oh my God, it came out. Well, crap. Well, I was going to show you that because it was in there and, uh, and it wouldn't come out, but it came out on video, naturally. That's just how it works here at Dale Racing Enterprises. We got a 9-inch third member. Focus on the member. And uh, anyway, we got solid floor pans. I mean, it's got some weight reductions here. It's fine. A uh, little tetanus never hurt anybody except for the people that it hurt. And, uh, you know, I mean, you, know, you can see that our seat is bolted in very professionally. The hell, that bolt right there, it already had a rust hole to put the bolt through. It was a shit, piece of cake. And, uh, you know, that one's got a, a, a piece of square something on it. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty good. Ooh, there's a zip tie through there. I can't get it. We'll get it later. Um... But yeah, let's look under here for a minute. We got, uh, like I said, division of gum. And, uh, you know, if we look over here, we could see that the center link and the oil pan are virtually touching each other, which is good. You want that. That adds a little bit of friction to your steering. And it just gives you a more exhilarating feel when you're driving. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, most NASCAR cars are set up that way. Now, you can see that I left the control arms sitting on the jacks that way it just you know falls apart and uh it just blows apart overnight and i come back come out tomorrow morning she's already disassembled um um oh my god um hey cameraman i'd appreciate if if you if you if you didn't do that um Dale. Dale needs his legs. If Dale loses his legs, uh, we can't race. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, the other one's not on either. Oh my god. I gotta get out of here. Jesus Christ. Get. OSHA approved. Now, I don't know if this shifter's gonna work, folks. <laughs> yeah, I do. But anyway, I gotta get in this vehicle here. I'm just gonna use the old death wheel here to do a little exploratory surgery. I'm gonna cut a, uh, a hole in some random given position and, uh, and just guess uh, that that's where I want the shifter to be. And it's, it's easier to get in the car on this side right now, so this is the side I'm going in rather than the side that I actually sit on and need the shifter to be. So just climb in here. Um, I do have a step stool over here. I'm cheating behind the scenes, but I do want to tell you that. Um, it's, it's a really nice step stool, actually. Um, yeah, that's OSHA approved. Wait, don't do that. Now. Just, just the key to getting in a stock car is you want to put your legs in first. Don't go in head first. That's wrong. So you just, um, you know, get the, the baby seat out of the way. That is a backrest. Backrest. Um, and, do you know nothing? <laughs> what? What are you going to do? Do you know who I am? You're Steve. God damn! Listen here! Steve's got a temper. Yep! Yep. That's how you do that. <clears throat> Just guess. It'll probably fit. Yep. Just exactly how I planned. Um, now, 
let's say you happen to be, uh, you know, cutting something with the old death wheel, uh, maybe near a pile of oil-soaked leaves or something. Um, if a fire were to occur, we do have a fire safety plan in place. Someone maybe take the fire extinguisher out. I don't really want to hear about that right now. You've already got me real upset. Anyway, if we have a fire, and as you see, there's a lot of smoke in here. There could be one. We just let it burn. Just let it go. It'll burn itself out. Everything will take care of itself. <laughs> fire extinguisher. No. No. We don't, we don't do that. We don't like those. It's not part of a program. I No. We don't do it. We just let nature do its job. Fire is a part of nature. Fire, ice, earth, wind, and fire. Yep. That's, uh, I learned that. You know, I wonder what they're up to these days. But, uh, yep. So, don't use any tools to pry this out. Just use your fingers. They'll cut them and, you know, slice you to bits. And that's fine. No matter. Use your left hand if you're right-handed. Use your right hand if you're left-handed. You don't need that one anyway. It's optional. Parents paid extra for that when you was born. Kind of like air conditioning. Who needs it? So, yeah. So this is working fine. Fine. There we go. See there? Look. Now, you might notice that I just covered the drive shaft and metal shavings, and that's going to end up going back into the trans at some point. That's okay. It's fine. You don't need that. Uh, anyway, so you can't see it, but I've got the shifter rod. It's it is in this vicinity, uh, and so this guy should just come right down in here and uh, sit something like that, actually. And then then we'll be banging gears, banging them. Yep. So. Oh my god! I know. Never disconnect the battery of your car when you're working inside of it. Then you can't do cool stuff like this. Uh.